This morning we're at Borgi 2, Southwood Car Museum in Parapara, Ubu. Pine National Museum is not nice as hell, cool view for 2015. They will you know what that is. Um, so this is founded and created by Sir Land Southwood and his wife Lady Vera, who in 1956 bought the Veracruz car for 40 pounds. It was a model Ford T. And we will find it for you to you. Just probably enjoy. So this place covers like three floors and we're going to be showing you around this amazing location. So have fun. I never made any money out of being paid once for a job they had to do twice. So some Surland and stuff. That's a pretty sexy Corvette though. Hey, was telling me all about it before. This is what we have here. I call for his 06 or 07 options here, 2013. That's a hella sexy ride. So there's actually like a lot of old vintage cars and classic cars, and these cars, and there's also like other old things like bikes and planes and stuff you'll see. Not as good as forming cars as you know, so. But that is a pretty sexy ride, ain't gonna lie. So we've been traveling all night, we've just got to um, our like, first location for this trip, which is pretty awesome. It's got it's actually got like, really nice hooks in it. So Hayden was saying it's pedal shifting. You can a tiger. It's a tiger top, you'd say. Convertible, convertible tiger top. Pretty cool though. What else we got here? It's a bit light shine. This is true. French was friendship and danger, but friendship through business is friendship indeed. That's pretty cool. You know what, ice cream bicycle cart. That's cool, and so I put things. So we're gonna ice cream stuff all through there. That's pretty awesome. Yes, this place is on top because so it goes upstairs. Here we go. I'm downstairs to the basement with these different things. Focus phone. A tricycle. Cool. An auto red bug, Smith Flyer, 1919. Let me read that. $125 or $115. $150. Wow. Focus phone. Drop the wheel down on the wheel drives. Yeah, it's looking alright. It's kind of random. Oh, look. No jukebox. Cool. As in, had an LG box. Oh, concert piano. Wow. What does it say? A selling original. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's, sorry, it's the door behind me again. Shutting and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love that. Feels like my phone's like really zoomed in. That's pretty awesome. What's for. Wow, what does it say? Date or something. Please do not touch. Okay, so this place is huge because it goes way around there. The cult emblem so used to put on their cars. Focus phone. That is pretty awesome. So I bought, so 1956 I sat in this awesome, his collection, which is pretty cool. He's since passed away, but he left this amazing collection for people to come and look at. V16 Cadillac. This is, this is Marlene Devich's car, personal car. This German born American actress and singer, made popular throughout her long career by continually reviewing herself professionally and characteristic. characteristic that's a long word. In the Berlin, in the in Berlin 1920s. She on stage in the silent films. Her performance was Lola Lola and Blue Angel, directed by Joseph von Sternberg. For her international fame and provided her a contract with Paramount Pictures in the US. 
Hollywood films such as Shanghai Express and Desire capitalized on her glamour and exotic looks, cementing her stardom and making her one of the highest paid actresses of the era. Dietrich became a U.S. citizen in 1939, and throughout World War II, she was a highly a high-profile frontline entertainer. Although she still made occasional films in the post-war years, Dietrich spent most of the 50s and 70s touring the world as a successful show performer. Oh, so this was her car. And here she is, right here. Here she is. That is awesome, actually. And here is the gangster's guy. There he is. It is one of the most sensational shootings in Hollywood history. But this is no movie. The target of the hit is not an actor, but real-life gangster Mickey Cohen, a Hollywood celebrity in his own right. Colorful, flamboyant, image conscious, Mickey Cohen is a new breed of gangster, the high profile Hollywood hood. Mickey Cohen was made for this town, or more accurately, was made by this town. He appears to be the image of the love So this is his car anyway. Charming, decent, and a true character. Rubbing shoulders with celebrities like Evangelist Billy Graham. Still see the bullet holes where the car was actually shot. There, so often just that's actually hella cool. So the weird bullet holes that ricochet off the glass. Yeah, that's, a, that's hella cool. That was a cool um, kind of like. That wasn't quite him, but what's that? There's a matchbox inside the window. Yeah, I saw that. See how thick the glass. Oh, is that what that was for? Oh, the gangster kind of like. Mickey Cohen outfitted in his 1950 Cadillac Fleetwood with the options necessary in his work. A bomb-proof floor, armor-plated doors, bulletproof power windows, and a hinge windshield for inside firing were attractive appointments for any gangster car. Holy crap. Where does the Al Capone, Lucky Lucino, and Bugsy Siegel? Okay, that is cool. Damn. Look at all the bullet holes, you can see where the bullets have hit the screen. That is hella cool, damn. Can't actually show you in this side, probably as soon as much as I can. Can't zoom in, probably. I can't focus too much, sorry. How cool is that though? So there's the matchbox, that's how thick it was. Look how thick the glass was. That's how thick the glass is, as thick as, as, thick as the matchbox. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at the bullet holes. Like, look at the bullets. Look at the bullets. Look at the bullet ricochet off the glass. That is freaking cool. Damn. This guy had a lot of bullets thrown at him. Nice suit, you can't really see. What's this? Series 62 convertible, 1959. Probably typical normal to like a lot of other people, like the um, Cadillac and stuff, but to us they're kind of cool because they're not like a normal car for us. Oh, sorry, I just want to try my glasses back on the freaking head. There we go. It looks hella comfy to drive. Oh, it comes with a trailer. It comes with his own Kelly trailer, that's kind of pretty cool. Damn. Is this a Yank tank? Is this actually like, um, okay, do these actually come with these trailers or is it just like made up? Is it like an actual thing? Like these trailers? I actually don't know, but it's kind of hella cool. Shelby. Probably my more favourite of the oh, Southwood collection. Definitely one of my more favourites of the Mustangs. GT500 car. I do love Shelby's. A lot of, here it's a lot of old people owning them. They're six years. Most of the stuff you guys already know because they're American cars.
I've always thought these cars here. The Plymouths, Plymouths. I don't know what they're called. Plymouth Prowler. 1999. I remember there used to be a TV show and I can't remember what it's called, but he had one of these cars. I thought it was hella cool. No Ferrari 308 GTSI or something. Here we go. That looks old. I always like the Viper. I've seen sometimes in your videos, um, no, but I never really get a good look at them. But these Vipers are so cool. I've seen, I've seen one, like one even Viper on the road. Uh, so was really old going driving one. There we go. It's 94. <coughs> that was old. <coughs> it's older than my car. Damn. I'd give up my car for a 1994 Viper. I think that's such a good looking car. Don't want to like to drive, I'll probably never know, but damn. Um, oh, Porsche. There's so many cars here to look at. Look how big this place is. It's huge. It's out one floor. We're up to, I'm already up to like 20 minutes. Oh, so this is a boat. So this boat here, right here. This is um, this is the the guy who created this place. This is his like personal boat. Here we go. It's the very first boat in Australasia to exceed 100 miles per hour in water. On, nine, on 22nd of February 1953 in Wellington Harbour. Holy crap. So this is the original boat. Okay, that's good. So this boat went over 100, 100 miles. Damn. Sorry to change things, but holy crap, I was reading about this before I saw to you. That is pretty cool, actually. Here you go, I'll give you a little look on the TV. But... Nineteen fifties and got us faster back then. Now the game so much faster. We were young back then. Well, I suspect it was once prime. <laughs> it's crazy. After the test, he changes his propeller for one of larger diameter but finer picks. At the first day of dead calm, he'll try and raise his own 96 mile an hour speed record above the century mark. It's quite an extraordinary person, Liam. Start and finish Southwood. line sights aligned on carefully surveyed marks. There must be two timekeepers at each end of the measured mile. Redhead yeah. wants out to sea again. It's an old boat, isn't it? It's a like, hella old wood. It didn't break up. She uh... crosses the finish line, and timekeepers get set for the return route. For a record, runs each way over the mile are average. Here she comes. There's a higher note from the engine, and Southwood's out to make this the day. Once from spectators, <laughs> has disturbed the surface of the smooth water. It's flying, isn't it? It's flying across the water. The bay, out into the roads of Wellington Harbour. Yeah. Is that on music? Hopefully, I can cover it for this. Southward waits anxiously while calculations are made. Applause. Time for the two miles. His old cars. Average speed 101 and a quarter miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Smaller speedboat, then southward, paddle in half. So, this is it here. The original reed, reed head. Look at that. I'm shaking inside the cockpit or anything? Not really. Look at it inside there. Alright, looks like it'd be so scary to go that fast on this. 
How do you get 100 models on this? That'd be actually intense. Look at all those exhausts. Streaming, streamlined by major, big one. Wow, that's actually pretty incredible. Far out. Look at the oldest boat motors, damn. Yeah, it was an Everood. Yeah, it was old. Holy crap. There's some old motors that are out there. Really detachable. America, 1938 Damn, there's some old motors. Holy shit. Be the way ton too. Oh, no, Mitsubishi GTO. Once was my dream car. This is the one. 3 litre CC V6 dock motor, 220 horsepower, 4 speed on that. Okay, mine was the one I wanted was turboed. It's like twin turbo. And it had the 5 speed manual. So, oh, the NS6 in it? Yep. Recognize this car. I don't even know if they still make these. I said she liked these cars, the Honda N6. They're pretty cool. I don't know if anybody else had them, but they're hella cool. The Super also made one too, I can't remember what it was called. It was a... What does Subaru make? I, mean, I can't remember what they made. It's R32 uh, Skyline, looks like. GTO, GTO, close Godzilla. No, R32, here you go Noble. Godzilla. Hurry to show you inside very well, sorry. I'll give you some less for you because you don't know much about them. If you want to read, read that. 1993. 5 Gearbox, turbo, 2.6. One of the best drifting cars. Probably old, old cars. We've got a Lance Evolution 6. What is this? It's a Lamborghini, Lamborghini Diablo. VT Rosa. Noise. It's noiseless. Oh, look, a little bit of piece of Dutch came out like Dutch. It's been a long time collecting all these cars. It's been a long time collecting all these cars. The Diablo Rooster. Look, but don't touch. Hey everyone, so thanks for Hayden Zeds here too. Um, from the Southward Car Museum in Parapara Umu. So that one up there, see if you know it better. Umu, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like the piece of subscribe, like, comment down below. Don't forget to hit the bell to get more notifications. Thank you. And if you do want to check it out, yeah, it's worth looking at. It's eighteen dollars to get in. Around there. Yeah, eighteen. Pretty cheap, and then yeah, just time to get out. Thank you. See you. Ciao. Justice will never make this right I need to run and stay out of sight And not trust it was me or them Now for a lifetime I'm condemned I have to forget my old set way of life I'll go to prison or die by the night Confirmed officer down 1980 Park Avenue.